Walker. We welcome Julie Van Rosendahl to scare up some Halloween food for us this morning. It's a tradition mm -hmm. to bring the meat hand. Meat hand. The meat hand. I've, I've How, extended it a bit. I put a little arm into it. It's evolved. It's like meat arm. It has evolved a little bit. There's more, there's more than just a hand there. There's How, like a wrist and a, and a bit of the arm. How long have you been well. making the meat hand for us? I, this is something, you know, I got the idea off the internet like a, a 10 years ago. Yeah. And someone had put a meat loaf mixture into one of those jello molds shaped like a hand. And it's just so gory and awesome that it's become like our, our Thanksgiving turkey. This is what we eat for Halloween every year. As you should. And my son's like, are we having meat hand this year? Because it's also delicious. There's also, there's so many like Halloween foods that look gross and disgusting, but and taste th and they taste good. They, yeah. They're just for show. But this you, you actually want to eat. It's, it's finger looking good. Is, it, well, ah. is the uh, recipe an evolution or it's the same every year? You know what? The recipe is just whatever meatloaf mixture you like to use. Okay. Shaped into a hand or like a foot or a fa I mean, you could do so meat, many meat any body, body part sure. with uh, just your basic meatloaf mixture. So Meat head if you're really creative. You totally could do meat head. And I think she put cheese on it so it looked like it had this sort of bubbling skin. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's fun and to do yum. with your kids, you mm -hmm. know, because they love to shape things into disgusting shapes. And, uh, and as long as you remember that it, it'll shrink as it cooks. Yeah. Um, so make it a little bit bigger than you, you know. Ground beef only? Ground, you know, you could do just ground beef. You could do ground beef and pork. Uh, you could put some Parmesan cheese in it. You could put some breadcrumbs and egg, um, which is sort of a, a typical binder. Sure. For the, <laughs> you want to get into the finger action? Well, I could. <laughs> you're just going to, like, you're, let me do it. You're doing a very good job. Well, you know, this is usually a group effort, and... Uh, Okay, and so I get the, I get the family in on it, the and, and everybody. Off. I'm rolling uh, on my awesome! Sleeve. Here you can do the thumb. Thank you. You can you can give it the finger. Is it a, it's an authentic meat hand with five fingers? With five fingers. So yeah, any any meatloaf mixture that you you know come up with or use will work just fine. And parchment paper, but obviously. But the beauty, parchment just will make it easier to clean up. Yep. The beauty is in the details. So we've got some a little bit of onion for fingernails. If you just sort of cut it and, and separate the, the layers, you get these awesome fingernails that you put on before you bake it. And, uh, and then we make a bone out of a potato. Where's the potato? So, so here we've got the nails. You, you want to do the nails? Sure. You're, good at, you're good at nails. At the detail? Yeah. And, uh, and then I the potato, you just peel a nice like small potato mm -hmm. and, um, and just carve a little hole out of the middle to make it look, you know, marrow-ish. And put it in the I thought that was for stability, bone. but it's for show. It's for show. Yeah, it'll hold up. In fact, if you bake it in advance, like I did with this one, um, once it's baked and, and sort of cold, mm -hmm. you can actually lift the whole thing up and it looks quite gory. Um, How and, much meat uh, and do we it. have in here? So there's like, I don't know, a couple pounds. Yeah. A couple pounds of meat. And then you shape the... Uh, the meat around. You want to make some jagged sort of edges to make it extra. So did extra you? Meaty. You just place this meat hand and put it on a bed of mashed potatoes. And I put it on a bed of mashed potatoes. Was that difficult? No, no, because once you bake it, I mean, you it's can just slide it off the sturdy. oven. It's pretty sturdy, especially if you have a little bit of breadcrumbs in there, a little bit of egg, sort of to hold it all together. So we've got the we've got the bone with the wrist bone, and then just for an added little touch, I'm gonna put a little bit of like. A little bit of Faux marrow. marrow. A little, little bit of marrow. I appreciate that. your attention I mean, to detail. Yeah, yeah. Huh? We're going to put some barbecue sauce on that. And then, yes, the barbecue. So ketchup and brown sugar, a little bit of mustard. It's sort of a typical um, meatloaf glaze, but you could use barbecue sauce, whatever you like. It makes it look extra <laughs> gory. Yes, extra if slimy. If you will. So, yeah. Really quickly, Julia, you experimented, and these are adorable, oh, yeah. so we need, we need to show these. I was playing around with, with apples as shrunken heads. You know, you like, you as carve you do. it as one does at Halloween. So if you, if you cut an apple in half, you know, peel it, core it from the back, and, and carve little to... faces, it'll shrink and sort of shrivel as it bakes and look like little, little shrunken heads. Let me try to not and get my fun meat hand on the too, plate. Girl. Whoa! Oh. Skeleton this, down. I like this guy. This guy's good. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, and so I just put the, the apples, I put a little bit of brown sugar in the hollow where you took out the core, put it in a little bit of puff pastry and bake them for about half an hour. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, they look like little shrunken shrunk heads, but they're apple tarts. So also delicious. Festive. Dessert for after meat hand. Meat hand meat for arm. dinner and... <laughs>
Apple shrunk head for dessert. Head, apple tarts for dessert. Thank you. Thank Julie, you. as always, and happy birthday, because I know that you celebrate oh, all throughout this week and up to Halloween. Yeah, that's right. It's a week-long uh, celebration. As it sure. should be. As it should be. <laughs>